What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? I did what was called for. You'll mask your feelings well, as long as you don't suppress them. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the code and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. And now I'm bound by your shackles. You'll find they are a marked improvement with much greater potential range. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak Ord in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. I have need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. What gives you the right to command me? I am Inquisitor Eurinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner. A spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. How are you going to pull that off? You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. How do I know you won't accuse me of treason? Prove your strength. Prove that you are truly Sith. And all the accusations in the world will mean nothing. You will find the Jedi Quarry and Dorgis in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I'm Corian Dorgis. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here to get you home, if you play your cards right. And I'm to trust you, the word of a Sith. I don't understand. You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? The Inquisitors are messing with your mind. They pumped you full of drugs. I suspected as much. It's so hard to think straight. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go.
come here, child? Do you intend to explore the Academy? To know the world that gave birth to the Sith? You should linger here a while. I am Overseer Ragate, a keeper of the old ways. I sense you have potential, and I can help you if you like. Some elaboration is required. You have power and strength in the Force, but you must be tested beyond the trials your masters have set for you. I administer the Rite of Blood and Bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. You have my attention. In the chambers, past the gateway, there is a colony of Shyrax, my leather-winged, razor-talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls, an altar to the Academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. I'll make a bloody heap of Shyrak bones to match. It would be a pity if no Shyrax were left for the other acolytes. You must claim a skull from the mountain and return to the antechamber. Soak the skull in the blood pool and come to me. Once bone has turned red, I will look and see your nature written in crimson stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. I'll admit that does sound intriguing. To complete the rite is to accept one's death. To steal one's own mortality and drown it in the fluid of life. That is the symbolic purpose. But it is also a trial of power, as are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength and to grant it. I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you. the screams of the Shyrax and the rippling of the blood pool. I heard the sounds of death. I know you brought the red stain skull, and I must say, I am pleased. I didn't even break a sweat. Then you have a darker heart than most. The skull you carry, your rage, your actions drowned it with the dark side. It is part of you. I can read it. I can offer a small gift, but more than that, I can offer a glimpse of your destiny. There's much I can read in the bones. Who am I to turn down free advice? Very well. Listen carefully. The key to your success is a small and sorry creature. But you can shape it in your image if you so desire. That's not the outcome I expected. That is all I see for certain. I can say no more. Prize what you have accomplished here. You are part of a tradition almost as old as Korriban itself, and you have done well. Goodbye now, young Sith. This lesson is complete. Oh, <laughs> 
Come closer, Acolyte. The wind outside has torn my ears to tatters, and my eyes grow strained and bloody in the dark. I've studied this tomb for years, slept on its stones, and dreamed of its depths. Now, I need assistance to solve its final mystery. I don't dig through dirt for scholars. Then you misunderstand the chance I am offering. This tomb is the final resting place of Tulak Horde. The tomb's maze was built to his precise specifications. But he built his maze to hold more than just his body. He built it to secure his greatest creation, his terrible machine, the Red Engine. Keep going. What Red Engine? The machine was his life's work. A perfect puzzle that hid all his secrets. It was a vault and a library all at once. The scholars in the Academy, they say the Red Engine was never completed. They say it never functioned. But I know how it works. And I know how to fuel it. What do you mean, fuel it? Listen now. Anyone can activate the Red Engine. But unless it receives its sacrifice, it will only sputter and die. The machine needs blood and hatred to become fully operational. If a Sith could slay the tomb's beast in its presence, their deaths would be its fuel. Find the machine within the tomb. Work its mechanisms. And when at last it reveals Tulak Horde's secrets, I beg of you, bring me its scripture. Bring me the knowledge I have dreamed of. Blasted mining droids. We're tougher than I thought. I'm not going to make it, but I hope whoever is watching this will honor me. Escaped slaves stole weapons from the Academy. I fled into this tomb. They've reprogrammed the mining droids. Without those droids, the slaves won't survive. Tried to take them down myself. Didn't work out. Destroy enough rogue droids, and the slaves will die. Teach them not to cross the Sith. Yeah. 